Ahoy there, Captain Gujon here, and welcome to Firewatch. I, I don't know very much about this game, really. All I do know is that everyone on the internet has fucking played it apart from me. So, I'm going to assume it's nothing to do with a man's wristwatch that's on fire. And I'm just going to get into it. New game. Oh, a tree. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hazard the guess that it's something to do with Canadian tree fires. Um, let's find out. I don't usually do these sort of videos, so let's see how it pans out. And if it goes down well, I'll make another one. Just because. I'm nice. I'm gonna shut up now. Julia. Spanish for Julia. I think. Case. Maybe English for Julia. I don't know. Yep. Oh, I click. I click. Oh, interactive cutscenes. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I approach her, apparently. I am drunk, as always. So, what's you know major? I know I said that wrong. So, what's your you know major? You. That's creepy as shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the creepy as shit. You were pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. I agree. Cheeseburgers are great. Wow, that was easy. Just say something really creepy to someone in a cafe and, and like that. We're, we're blasting fingers behind a restaurant. Oh. Sweet backpack, I like it. Oh, I've got these buttons. Nope, can't press those. Um, can I go through the trash? That seems like something I would definitely do. Anyway. Steady on. There's two cats in there. You date for every year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It doesn't sound great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beer out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. I want to get a fucking dog. I want to get a beagle. But I can't have to myself, so... There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. No fucking way! What the chance of that? Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Yeah, I'm gonna... You know I'm having a beagle called Bucket. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. I do... I would love Bucket. I'd like a nice big Bucket. Put my hands in. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Sexy, I reply. Kids? They're not very smart, or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. What a lovely sentiment. Yeah, not, not a big kid guy. Don't work for the BBC. She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you reassure her. You tell her she has a body of an undergrad. That's such a lovely compliment. My ovaries didn't get the memo. <laughs> Ugh. What, how would you get a memo in there, anyway? She says, laughing it off. One day, okay. One day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. This game's really pretty. I'm going to check my settings real quick. Lovely. It's much better. Look at that ultra grass and the ultra trees. I fucking, I love cell shaded games. It's 13, which I've played before, and I'll pop a little, a little annotation somewhere to, to the blink. And it's just, it looks so good for its age.
1980, it's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. If she doesn't call, you're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clubbing and having fun. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I... Mm, I wouldn't do either of those things. I'd wait for her to go to sleep and pour water in her mouth. No, I get mad. Yeah, let's do that. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurt her feelings. Oh, feelings. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frog. That one. Definitely a Victoria model. Julia's right. You are very... I am. Julia knows me well. Parkouring. Think this is Assassin's Creed. This is not what I expected at all, but it's... It looks so good. Ah, oh. So fucking good. There's no nudists or doggers. Two forks. Eight more miles still. I prefer three spoons. But... What do I know? Ah... Oh. So pretty. 1982. During the summer, you and Julie enjoy a walk. Enjoy walking Bucket at night. Ah, Bucket. There's a festival in town. It brings in folk from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. I'd fucking pick up Bucket and throw him at him. <laughs> and then that would... The RSPC would be over. Oh no, Bucket! Bucket gets kicked. Be ba fuck the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I feel like that's the. I feel like beating his face in is the right answer. I think scaring him away with my tiny dick is going to be the way forward. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare away all three. He runs away. Oh no, you manage to scare all three of you. <laughs> he runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay, you don't want to go that way either. What a big baby. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. Learning. 2,000 miles away. That's... that's 2,000 miles. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Mm, I feel like commuting is the safest bet. You'll ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut because it's horrible. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Boulder. What a weird, what a weird name for a place. 1985. Julia is sent home from mail on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on colleagues for borrowing books that were important to her research. <gasps> Those bastards. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. He said that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make a mar macaroni and drink wine. That one, definitely something I'd do. Macaroni and wine. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep together on the couch. My goodness, do I have to blur that out? I'll put someone's face over it, it's fine. Julia comments that it's... Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's getting kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later she goes back to university. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in a class, her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's saint, sent home on permanent medical leave. Sounds like a free, like, free ride to me, but whatever. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. 
She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. Oh dear. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten your day. She gets worse. 1988, you spend four days following Julia around the house. You count three seconds, count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. <laughs> That's a weird name for a woman. I know, nurses aren't all women. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere between, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility. I, I think personally, the, the, the full time care facility is a better option. Because. It's kind of selfish taking care of someone like that, I suppose. We'll go with we'll go with care facility. Yeah. Oh, we're walking again. Wow. This is a pretty a pretty serious video for me. If anyone's seen my other stuff before. So, it's, it's a, oh my god, it's a big dog with horns. Bye bye big dog with horns. The family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, and then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same, you get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I'll cut your balls off. That is, that is quite a threat. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. 1989. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan, but not in that way, because that would be probably inappropriate. Months go by. Bucket dies. No, I was hoping I'd get to, like, fucking dick about with him and stuff. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. I take it. Manhooker. That'd be pretty good, actually. Getting some sweet ass. In exchange for Cass. Cass? Cash. Oh, yeah. The music's fucking amazing. It's so moving. Fuck yeah. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go, but I'm going. Oh, what? I'm going? Oh. Totally gonna take a big old dump. Oh, I can see my legs. No, no squat. Nope, can't drop my trousers and take a duke. Oh well. I don't think this is the, really the tone of the game, but you've got to try. And if you don't try, why bother? I'd better go up there, really, since I have a feeling that's where it wants me to go. There's so much stuff to explore. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go the way I think I should go, rather than the place I think that'd be a waste of time. What's inside here? I don't think I feel like I probably shouldn't go in there until I've actually checked what's. I hope it's like a someone who's captured and kept hostage. That'd be a pretty nice twist for a game that has literally just started. Wow. Those fucking hills and shit. I'm so eloquent eloquent. Look at those fucking hills and shit. Where's the door? That's there. Yeah, made a daft move.
generator. Oh, a bit aggressive. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Reply. Hold left shift. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, hello? Whoever ah, this is? I see. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? That's not very nice. People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Yeah. That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Pretty sweet. Okay, now go book. ahead. Nice book. So you can actually do stuff while on the radio, which I think is really fucking strange but cool. It's a nice, nice change of sort of style. Pop the lamp on. You're just going to wait me out on this? Well, what do you want? You're so fucking needy. But I'm going to take a second here and have a guess about you. Go on. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Oh, oh is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Welcome to the job. So abrupt. Day one. Ah, Agatha Christie. Well, I guess good afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me at my desk, you fucking creep. Where are you? Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Claw talks. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted <laughs> with the job. Whoop. Whoop. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see Concentrating. it? Concentrating. Oh. Oh, no way I can throw stuff. I love games where I can throw stuff. Oh, come on now. Let's play the sink game. It's right in the middle of your room. Throw like a big fucking... Pansy, come on! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just getting carried away okay. with yeah, I bleach. See it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W. B. Osborne. Use this to spot. You guessed <laughs> Ninja it. Ninja throw. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you uh, you use this to. Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What's that? Are those fucking fireworks? Is it bonfire night? West. So we're going west. Like, a little bit... Yep, yeah, left. I need so we're going you to west. confirm. Do you see them? Yes, Whoa, I fucking see... That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire okay. dangerous through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down so there sassy. and set him straight. So sassy. I'm going. Oh, oh like kick the shit, the shit out of him, sort of yes. straight. Yes. No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. Right, it's go. not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their go. shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. I'm gonna kick your fucking teeth in with love. Between you and the lake, if I remember right, there should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one two three four. It's actually that for all of them. Solid, solid password. Um, secure. Yep. Shut up. The dialogue's good as well. I like that. It's witty. How do I get my Jonesy Lane? Lake, sorry, my mistake. How do I get my compass out again? Oh. Um, which direction? I'm pretty sure it's this way. Can I run? 
can't talk right now. I think it's this way. I'm going to assume it's, it is. Sounds are getting louder, so I think I'm going the right way. Hmm. Interesting. Can I clear it? Nope. Okay, well, that's fucked my plan. Let's go. What's this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go that way. Oh, that is, is this the storage chest with the unbelievably secure code? Uh, one, two. Yeah, perfect. Huh. nice bit of old rope. Take that. Nice, good quality, Chinese made. Get out of here, pine cone, you drunk. Can I just put them in a pocket? Is that something I can, can I eat? I'm gonna eat it then. Can't, can't carry it then, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Uh, hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up the lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking in the park, but it lets get fucked when I'm back. Ah, oh, I like Dave already. He sounds just great. Awesome. Um, tab to keep review of notes. Yeah, know about that. Uh, I'll do. I'm going to keep going this way since it seems like that might be the right direction. Can't see him because it's daytime! Ah, oh, out to jog. Awesome. Vista is incredible. Wow. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of... Fuck up. Everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. Been sat hour. <laughs> flipping one out. You can come by and see it at the end of the summer. That'd be awesome. I want to see you flip one out. can't even decide. Is it M for map? Ah, oh, fucking hell it is. Awesome. So, I need to be there. And I am currently... Yeah, let's go to Jonesy Lake. Put all this away now. Let's get a job done. There, I see them. Ha ha. Rope hook. Oh, no way. Just like Call of Duty. But not shit. Let's do. This is fucking awesome. It's just not what I expected at all. It's. No, no, no! Oh, God! Oh, he's toast. But he's okay. This guy has a back of steel. And hopefully, not with broken legs or ribs. How did you fucking fall off that? I didn't think it was pretty steep. Do I need to report this? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Yes, Mum. Will do. Report. 
Newport Meadow. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Oh, see a backpack. Mm. And beer Maybe cans. keep heading west toward the lake. Clean up. Wow, this is a great... Is this, is this like council simulator? Gotta clean up those beer cans. I'm such a nice guy. What I'm actually doing is sweeping to make sure they're all empty because I'm killer fucking beer right now. Tasty, tasty beer. All the more beer cans for me. Right, I see a backpack. Two backpacks? They left their packs tied up here. Maybe that. Don't fuck with them. The last trapped. thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Maybe the traps and the firing, some form of fireworks to get help. Whiskey. Oh, oh. shit! Ferret or Irish? <laughs> Saving that for later. Put it away. Don't tell anyone. We'll put that out, since uh, I don't want them cooking anything delicious. Ah, oh, fireworks. Confiscate. God, this, this should call it fucking Killjoy Simulator. Taking away the beer, taking away the whiskey. Oh my god, what a drainer. Alright. Clothes? Oh my god, they were raptured. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Oh, uh, what if they're naked? It's so rapturing. Won't oh god. Exciting. Look, the tits were raptured. There, so tell them off and then head back. I'm gonna keep this for later. Oh, what? As if that wasn't an option. Can I not? Is that not? Oh. I think someone's getting fingered. Fingering mad. Can I crouch like a creepy rapist? Oh my god. Uh, there are, uh, Wow, this chick on chick I don't action. Say that word again. Why? Because you're twelve. Oh, hello. What the fuck are they doing? They're fairies. Quickly, kill them. I'm joking. You can't kill fairies. Oh man, I can pick the boom up. It's like a cool guy. Cool it with the fireworks. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Yeah, well, take oh, this, dicks. Right. Suck a dick. Bite what of it? Firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. This is almost like... Fuck you, psycho. Yeah, he's a bit crazy. You. Don't be like that. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. I can. Let's get out of here. Coming for you. Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. You're off. I think I'm going to end it there. Cause I, I think I've been playing for like maybe half an hour. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Anyway, if you've liked this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe. Do what you got to do. And until next time, Captain Goujon, out. Hey there, Henry.